In this video, I'm going to tell you how to give online examination in our NTS platform. So this video is only for those users or candidates who will be attempting their online test through their desktop device or the laptop device. For that, you need to make sure of few things. First of all, make sure that you have an active internet connection which has a stable speed and good connectivity. Secondly, you have sufficient battery in your laptop or have an uninterrupted power supply for your desktop computers. Because if in any case the test is interrupted, you only get one chance and the test gets automatically submitted. So you won't get a second chance for that. So make sure of these few things before you start the examinations. So let us begin how to start the examination. First of all, go to your browser. Again, make sure that your browser is quite updated. So go to your browser, open a tab and search for web.classplusapp.com and click enter. So this page loads up. This is your login page where the organization code will be XSJXF. Click on verify. Once it is verified, put in your login mobile number and continue. Once you continue, the system will verify your login details through an OTP. Put in your OTP and verify your account login. So once your dashboard loads up, this is your dashboard and you will see the batches in which you are already added. So uh, for any students, whichever exam has been assigned on that particular batch or whichever batch you have joined, just click on the batch, go to the test section and you'll be able to see the test which is active on your platform. Against the test, there's an attempt test button. So before uh, clicking on the attempt test button, there are a few things that you have to remember that the test is assigned at a particular time, which will be uh, let known to you, uh, which will be announced to you. So make sure you start the test on the assigned time because the test will also have an assigned end time. This way you will not lose any uh, time assigned to you. Now click on the attempt test and begin your test. So just go through the instructions make sure that uh, there are a few things I would like to highlight here. So if you move away from your test screen, that means if I just go and open a new tab while I'm giving the exam to search for the answers. So if you move away from your current test screen, uh, your exam portal will automatically submit and you will not be allowed to give the test for the second attempt. That means you should not move away from your current screen to a new tab or just minimize the screen to look for something else. You have to be always on this particular screen where you are giving the exam. So if you look in this instructions, there's a specific instruction that you should always keep in mind. That is the test must be completed in one attempt. Test once submitted cannot be re-attempted or started again. And another major thing that you have to know is that you should not change or close the test screen while attempting a test. That means you should not minimize your test, close your window or open a new window or move away from this particular screen to any other screen. In that case, your test will be automatically submitted and you'll not be allowed to give a second attempt on it. So let us start with that reminder. Click on next. Now, this particular test is a demo test that I'm showing you. So it has only one particular section, which is MA 10 arithmetic processor from some offers and test terms of an AP. So you just click on, I have read and understood the instructions. I agree in that case and then start attempting the test. Once you attempt the test, so this is your only section. You have the entire test screen here. If you see on the top right corner, you have your timer, which is the time left for this particular test, because as you know, the test is assigned for you for a certain duration. Then you have the uh, answer palette or your instruction palette, where you can see how many questions you have answered and how many you have not answered. This is the palette. And these are the markings, which will let you know which uh, whichever questions you have visited, we have not answered, will be marked red and you know the uh, normal nomenclature. So once you start by agreeing the test, so once you accept the terms and conditions of the test, you, you come on this particular section, which is your test screen. So let me just quickly brief you what you have here. First of all, you have, this is your section. Uh, if you have multiple section, you can scroll in here and switch between from one section to the other section. On the right hand side, on the top part of your screen, you will have the uh, timer, which is, which shows you the amount of time left for you to complete the test. Then you have your question palette. You can move from one question to another question in this question palette by clicking here or simply by uh, going from save and next. So if you see once I have shuffled from one question to the other question, they became red in color or they have been marked red. 
This means that I have just visited this question and I have not answered them. So hence, this particular sequence shows that I have not answered four questions. If you see here, the numerical number four is mentioned. Similarly, if I need to start answering the questions, just click on that particular question, whichever you want to answer. Suppose uh, this particular question's answer, correct answer is B or C, anything it be. Just click on the option and click on save in next to save your answer. So once you click on save in next, it shows that question number one pal in the palette becomes green in color. It is marked in green. This means that this particular question has been answered. Similarly, visit all the questions and save your answers. I'm not solving it here. I'm just showing you how to give the examinations. I'm just solving everything. Suppose say uh, I, I want to revisit question number three and I'm not pretty sure that this answer is correct. While, uh, you know, solving the question, I have come to the conclusion that, okay, I'm not sure about this question. So what I'll do here, I can just mark this for review. That means at the end of the exam, uh, when I have some time left, I can come back and revisit this particular question, which will be shown here in the question palette that this has been marked for a review. So I can come back here in this question and then review this question, review my answer and then change my answer if required and then save in next. So once I have done that, I can quickly, if I'm not attempting any questions, I can leave them blank. It's not that you have to attempt every question. If you don't want to, you you should not. Because uh, there are certain exams where the, we have a positive and negative marking scheme. So if you see in this particular question, you get plus four marks for a uh, correct answer and minus one mark for a wrong answer. That means you have a negative one mark for a wrong answer. So if such kind of questions are being provided to you where you have a negative marking, and you're not sure of the particular answer, then you can skip the question. So once you are sure that you have uh, correctly answered all the questions and you are satisfied with your examination, what you do is click on the submit test button. If you are not able to complete the entire test within the given amount of time, then at the end of your timer, your test will be automatically submitted with the answers or responses which we have saved. So make sure that you always, uh, after clicking on a particular option, always click on save in next so that if the timer runs out your answers are automatically submitted in the backend system so once you click on the submit test you get a overall feedback of the test that you have just taken so here you will be shown time remaining that is amount of time left in your timer total questions you have provided number of questions that you have answered and number of questions you have marked for review so once you are sure of everything is correct then so once you click on submit test so the system will automatically give you a test score how much you have scored in case we have not uploaded the answer along with the question paper your test score will not be reflected right after the exam we will manually uh, check all the questions and answers and then generate a report for you so in that case please do not panic because you will get your results once the exam have been completed in all the phases so after that you can also view solutions if it is uh, uploaded along with the question paper if not you can always just click on close this particular button and then you are sure that you want to exit then yes click ok so yeah that's all for today i'll show you how to give the examinations on your mobile phones or on your Android applications as well. Thank you.